the country is a shock at the present time. For the latest news that have come about in losing uh, the Deputy Prime Minister. Honorable James, oh sorry, Honorable Sam Basil, who had a car accident last night. It is a tragic loss to the country and also fellow Papua New Guineans to lose leaders at this time can really hurt. And for this reason, this Commission of Inquiry would like to take a few moments that as you sit to pay respect to the late Honorable Sam Basil. And also like from the Commission of Inquiry to extend our condolences to the immediate family who are mourning at this time so that we are with them also in grief and the pain that they are going through. It also gives me reason to also believe that we need to take care of our own lives because sometimes I try to work out what is the difference between an accident and a miracle. But to a individual who may think otherwise, you will come to the conclusion that sometimes you cannot really understand how they relate together. But at this juncture, with all the staff of the Commission on Inquiry and our team, we are with everyone who are mourning to at this time for the late Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Sam Basil. May he rest in peace as we progress on. Thank you. With that, We are into our 27th day of hearing. And before I go any further, I'll call upon the council to take us through this morning. May it please the commission. Commissioner, you will note that there are a number of matters that are listed for this morning. A total of 24 matters listed on today's daily diary. Commissioner, you'll recall, as indicated on the last occasion, that summonses were anticipated to be issued in respect of persons identified in press statement number seven. Commissioner, the matters listed for this morning's daily diary relate to those persons, those 24 individuals who the commission has identified as persons who are in a position or should be in a position to assist the commission on matters relating to the terms of inquiry are the terms of reference on matters relating to the inquiry. Uh, Commissioner, just by way of introduction, the summonses are all basically in the same position. 
in circumstances where summonses have been issued for those 24 persons. Commissioner, however, those summonses have not been delivered to the 24 persons as, as listed. So in those circumstances, we will be calling each, each, uh, each matter and also identifying the person to whom the summons has been issued together with the summons number and also stating that for purposes of today's hearing to enable service to occur that those summonses be extended to 19th of May 2022 at 10am. So for the record, Commissioner, I wish to call item number one. Commissioner, that's a summons numbered 22 issued to Honorable Dom Pom Polier. Commissioner, we formally apply for the reasons given earlier that the, that summons be extended to Thursday, 19th May, 2022, at 10 a.m. So if a direction could be issued to that effect, Commissioner. Thank you, Council. In consideration to that, the Commission directs that summons number 22, dated 12 May, 2022, issued to Honorable Don Pom Pole, is extended to Thursday the 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated this 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commissioner, moving on to item number two. That is summons number 23. Commissioner, that's a summons issued to Honorable Peter O'Neill for the reasons given earlier, Commissioner. We also apply to extend summons number 23 to the 19th of May, 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Similarly, uh, Council, in consideration to that, the Commission directs that summons number 23, dated 12 May, 2022, issued to Honorable Peter O'Neill, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated this 12th day of May, 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. The Commission pleases. Item number three, Commissioner, is summons number 24. That's a summons issued to Honorable Powers Parkop. Commissioner, we apply to extend Summons number 24 to 19th May, 2022 at 10 a.m. for the reasons outlined earlier. I'm satisfied with the reasons and therefore the commission directs that summons number 24, dated 12 May, 2022, issued to Honorable Powers Pakup, is extended to Thursday, 19th of May, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention dated this 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you. Commission, please. Item number four, Commissioner, is summons number 25. That is a summons issued to doc, Dr. Clement Weine. Commissioner, if summons number 25 could also be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention based on the reasons I have given. I'm satisfied with that, and therefore, the Commission directs that summons number 25, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Dr. Clement Wine, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention, dated this 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item number five, summons number 26. That is a summons issued to Dr. Peter Cora. Commissioner, we also apply for that summons to be extended to 19th May, 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Similarly, the commission directs that summons number 26, dated 12 May, 
2020 issued to Dr. Peter Cora is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated is 12th day of May, 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item number six is return of summons, brother, summons number 27. Commissioner, that is a summons issued to Dr. Thomas Webster. Commissioner, we apply for that summons to also be extended to the 19th of May, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. In support of that and the consideration, the Commission directs that summons number 27, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Dr. Thomas Webster, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated is 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item number seven is summons number 28. That's a summons issued to Mr. Arthur Samare. Commissioner, for the reasons given earlier, we apply for that summons to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Reasons are satisfactory, and therefore the Commission directs that summons number 28, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Arthur Somaru, is extended to Thursday the 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Dated is 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commissioner, item number eight is summons number 29. Commissioner, that's a summons issued to Mr. Brian Riches. Commissioner, you will recall um, that pursuant to the initial press statement, uh, Mr. Riches had provided a written statement to the Commission and it was considered appropriate that he be formally summoned so that his, his statement could be formally produced to the Commission. Commissioner, in those circumstances, we also apply for his summons to be, rather summons 29 to be extended to Thursday, May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. In consideration to that, uh, the Commission directs that summons number 29, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Brian Rich, is extended to Thursday the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention, that it is 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. The next item is nine. Commissioner, that summons a number 30. That summons is issued to Mr. Diary Vele. Commission, as I indicated on the last occasion, Twivey lawyers made representation that they had instructions to accept service of the summons. Commissioner, in those circumstances, we apply to extend summons number 30 to Thursday, 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Thank you, Council. The Commission directs that summons number 30, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Diary Vela, is extended to Thursday the 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, dated this 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item number 10, Commissioner, is summons number 31. That's a summons issued to Ms. Evangeline Tauno. Commissioner, if the Commission pleases, we also apply for that summons to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention for the reasons given earlier. Well, thank you. The Commission, in consideration to that, directs that summons number 31, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Ms. Evangeline Tauno, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, dated this 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. 
to the Commission, please. Item 11, Commissioner, relates to summons number 32. That's a summons issued to Mr. Gary Hersey. Commissioner, for the reasons outlined earlier, we also apply for that summons to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. I'm satisfied with that, Council, and therefore the Commission directs that summons number 32, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Gary Hesse, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, dated this 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item number 12, Commissioner, relates to summons number 33. That is a summons issued to Ms. Hakawa Harry, H-A-R-R-Y. Commissioner, for the reasons given earlier, we apply for summons number 33 to be extended to 19 May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. The Commission directs that summons number 33 dated 12 May 2022, issued to Ms. Akawa Harry, is extended to Thursday the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention, and again dated this 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. The Commission pleases. Item 13, Commissioner, relates to summons number 34. That is a summons issued to Isaac Lupari. Commissioner, we apply for that summons to be extended to Thursday, 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention for the reasons outlined earlier. I'm satisfied with that, uh, Council. And therefore, the Commission directs that summons number 34, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Isaac Lupari, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, the edit is 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Mr. Commission, please. Item number 14, Commissioner, relates to summons number 35. That's a summons issued to Mr. Jamie Stewart. Commissioner, we also apply to extend that summons to Thursday, 19th May, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention for the reasons submitted earlier. Similarly, the Commission directs that summons number 35, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Jamie Stewart, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention, dated this 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. The next item, 15, Commissioner, is in relation to summons number 36. That's a summons issued to Mrs. Juliana Kubak. Commissioner, you will recall, as I mentioned on previous appearances, that Mrs. Kubak had, in, had provided to the Commission a written statement in response to press statement number seven. Commissioner, for Completeness, we have issued this summons to enable Ms. Kobach to formally appear and produce that statement to the Commission. Commissioner, in those circumstances, and for the reasons given earlier, we also apply for summons number 36 to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. In consideration to that, Council, the Commission directs that summons number 36, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Ms. Juliana Kubak, is extended to Thursday 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, dated this 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Mr. the Commission pleases. Item number 16, Commissioner, relates to summons number 37. That's a summons issued to Mr. Justin McGann, Commissioner for the reasons outlined earlier, we also apply to extend summons number 37 to Thursday, 19th May, 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. 
similarly, uh, Council, the Commission directs that summons number 37, dated 12 May 2020, issued to Mr. Justin McGain, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for Manson. Again, dated this 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Mr. Commission, please. Item 17, Commissioner, relates to summons number 38. That is a summons issued to Mr. Larry Hor, Hore or Hor, H O R E. Forgive my mispronunciation of that name, Commissioner. We will also apply for that summons number 38 to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention for the reasons I have submitted earlier, Commissioner. Uh, thank you, uh, Council. Similarly, and in consideration to that, the Commission directs that summons number 38, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Larry Hall, I'll follow the pronunciation, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for Manson. Again, that it is 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item 18, Commissioner, relates to summons number 39. Commissioner, that's a summons issued to Mr. Nathaniel Poya. You know, uh, the name there is misspelled. It's spelled in the notice, uh, in the diary as P-O-L-Y-A. It should be P O. I Y A. For, so for the record, it's Poya, P O I Y A. Mr. Poya was the former chairman of PNG Ports Corporation at the material time when the transaction was entered into between the parties concerned. So just coming back to coming back to summons number thirty-nine, Commissioner. We also apply for that summons to be extended to Thursday, 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention for the reasons I've submitted earlier. Uh, thank you, Council. The Commission directs that summons number 39, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Nathaniel Poya, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for Manson. Again, dated is 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item 19, Commissioner, relates to summons number 40. That is a summons issued to Paul Comboy. Commissioner, for the reasons submitted earlier, we apply for summons number 40 to be extended to Thursday 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Thank you, Council. Similarly, the Commission directs that summons number 40, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Paul Comboy, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, that it is 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item 20, Commissioner, relates to summons number 41. That's a summons issued to Mr. Paul Narrow. Commissioner, for the reasons submitted earlier, we apply for summons number 41 to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. I'm satisfied with that, uh, Council, and therefore the Commission directs that summons number 41 dated 12 May 2022 issued to Mr. Paul Nero is extended to Thursday the 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, that it is 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Commission, please. Item number 21, Commissioner, relates to summons number 42. That is a summons issued to Mr. Romilly Kilapat. Commissioner, for the reasons submitted earlier, we apply for summons number 42 to be extended to 19th May 
2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. The reasons are accepted, and therefore the Commission directs that summons number 42, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Romley Kilopet, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, dated is 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Mr. Commission, please. Commissioner, item number 22 relates to summons number 43. That's a summons issued to Mr. Stanley Alphonse. Commissioner, you will recall I mentioned on prior occasions that Mr. Alphonse had provided a statement to the Commission in response to press statement number seven and, was, and had assisted the Commission in that regard. For purposes of record, we have summoned Mr. Alphonse to produce that summons rather to produce that statement so it can be formally tendered. Commissioner, for those reasons and the reasons submitted earlier, we apply for summons number 43 to be extended to Thursday, 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. In response to that counsel, the commission directs that summons number 43, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Stanley Alphonse is extended to Thursday the 20, sorry, the 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, dated is 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the commission. Thank you, Council. Mr. Commission, please. Moving on to item 23, Commissioner, relates to summons number 44. It's a summons issued to Mr. Stephen Tessa, spelled T-E-S-A-R. Commissioner, for the reasons submitted earlier, we also apply for summons number 44 to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Similarly, along with the others, the Commission directs that summons number 44, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mrs. Steve Tessa, is extended to Thursday the 19th of May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, the edit is 12th day of May 2022 and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. And finally, Commissioner, item number 24 relates to summons number 45. That's a summons issued to Mr. Wasenta Kumarasiri. Commissioner, for the reasons submitted earlier, we also apply for summons number 45 to be extended to 19th May 2022 at 10 a.m. for mention. I'm aware of that, and therefore, in consideration to that, the Commission directs that someone's number 45, dated 12 May 2022, issued to Mr. Wasenta Kumarasi, is extended to Thursday, the 19th of May 2022, at 10 a.m. for mention. Again, the date is 12th day of May 2022, and authorized by the Commission. Thank you, Council. Mr. Commission, please. Commissioner, there are no further matters uh, listed this morning on the daily diary. So without, uh, without, in those circumstances, Commissioner, I submit that the, it is appropriate subject to any comments you wish to make for the hearings to be adjourned to to next week, Tuesday, Commissioner. Thank you, Council. Days are approaching faster than anticipated. And uh, as I've said earlier on, the country is uh, at a pinnacle point of some very important events that are coming up. And uh, the national general, general election is around the corner. But at the same time, our duty and responsibility to ensure that the, the task of the Motor Care Commission of Inquiry must progress on as planned, and we are progressing very well to that effect. 
And therefore, I like to also make a point that I'm satisfied with the the, the current price statement that have gone for about a month or so, and I'm sure that those that the names have been read out and the summons is to be issued to next Thursday, I'm sure that uh, they will make the presence available at the time. With that, now that we have no other issues to deal with, but for the benefit of those that have just come in late, I like to just to pay our respect at this moment to the late Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Sam Basil. It was a tragic death indeed, and none of us have expected that it will happen. But as I've stated earlier on, things do happen. So I just want to say that look after yourself also. We are at a period where things can also happen. At least we expect it, that it can come. And therefore, until we see you all again next Tuesday, when we return to deal with the summons, I now call upon the associate to adjourn all the matters to Tuesday next week. Thank you.